sounds expensive. So our classic project this year I tried to take on a, a bigger challenge. My name is Jeremy Schaub. I'm the general manager here at Porsche Center Vancouver. We took a car that was relatively unloved and really used, being a 1977 911 S with a 2.7. It's a California car, so it does uh, sort of bog down by emission control components and things that uh, maybe some of the enthusiasts generally didn't go after and restore, but we think there's a lot of potential in that car. All right, so on our pre-flight check, we have windows that don't work, um, no heat, uh, the engine is running, see some lights on that aren't supposed to be, but here we go. Ooh, so it looks like we've got some worn synchros, that was second gear. Synchros in third gear. Could be some worn engagement teeth as well. Hopefully not worn gears. Oh, pretty stinking drops too. <laughs> Getting high from the fumes. Well, we're about to pull into the workshop where we're gonna start disassembling our project. And it definitely feels like a very large project. I think we have our uh, work cut out for us on this one. To do something a little different was to take two inspirations from the 70s. The first being that 73 2.7 RS Carrera. What started in 1976 was when Porsche started taking the 911 to race the Paris to Dakar rally. So we took these two uh, historical figures and we're combining them. So we're really building an RS tribute on a Dakar chassis, affectionately known as the Safari. So we're building an RS Safari. going to be a lot of different approaches to this build. My name is Alan Staba. I am a classic technician at Porsche Center Vancouver. The most exciting thing for me about the Safari build would be the fact how different it is from the stuff that we usually do. Usually we either maintain or, or repair customers' vehicles to the factory specification. Yeah, it's really exciting. This assembly's gone relatively smooth. To kind of recap on what we're doing, uh, engine and transmission are removed, uh, suspension is now removed, and we're into the body and interior. A few surprises along the way. Uh, a bit of rust on the left fender, uh, rust in the rear windshield frame. Uh, we found a hornet's nest inside the headliner, so that was uh, interesting. We have found some previous accident damage and some poor repairs of it. Um, so that could give the body shop some extra work for sure. They definitely, I think, have their work cut out for them. We're still going over and reviewing the engine and transmission and some of the suspension components. So we're not 100% sure yet of what we'll find worn inside the engine or the transmission. We definitely know synchros inside the transmission. Uh, the engine had low compression on one cylinder, so we need to look into that as well to find out what's worn inside there, so. We're doing a lot of different things with an engine, with a body. The end result should be cool. So yeah, we still, we still have some, some digging to do on this one. Yeah.